The richness and variety of folk craftsmanship demonstrates the attachment to its roots and the respect for its history and ethnology. Craftsmanship can be linked to a host of activities, social groups, traditions and trades, as well as to their different application areas, the home, the street, work or festivals. But behind craftsmanship lies a great amalgam of craft trades passed on for generations from father to son, maintaining an unbroken connection and preserving the evolution of their procedures. The Valencian community, rich in its towns and counties, is a great store of craft wisdom. The more villages you visit and the more festivals you know, the more the amount of craftsmen behind them all is perceived along with the great stock of knowledge available to us. Let's get to know some forms of craftsmanship which are closely linked to regional festivals. The mystery play of Elche is a performance of medieval origin which is on UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. It is performed every August in the Basilica of Santa Maria in Elche. On the Nita la Alba, Fireworks are launched from the bell tower of the basilica, resembling a huge palm tree and turning night into day. The firework tradition runs through the veins of the Valencian people. One of the basic elements of the festivals of the Valencian community is gunpowder in its diverse forms. The origin of this tradition dates back to the time of the Muslim presence in the Valencian region. In this era, the pyrotechnic tradition began to take root. Drones de Bac, Mascletaes, old gunpowder weapons, or the works of La Nit del Foc, or the Nit de la Alba of Elche, invite tourists and visitors to join in the festival. Pyrotechnic professionals blend color and sound perfectly, making hearts thump and covering the Valencian festivals in a cloud of gunpowder and sound. The cardboard and wood sculptures, known as fallas, are the structures around which the festival of the Fallas de Valencia revolves. The festival is closely connected with craftsmanship, as the festival draws on the work of many different crafts. Fallero artists and handheld fan makers are just a few of the craftsmen in a long list of professionals who keep the traditions of the festival alive. Every 19th of March, many towns of Valencia become a great bonfire, renewing life and feeling, in order for a new falla cycle to begin. The falla is a great social magnet, linking people, neighborhoods and cities through history, tradition and craftsmanship. It is an ephemeral sculpture, created over the course of one year for public display. The Fallera artists are a cross between architects, sculptors, painters and decorators. They make the Falla emerge from their hands, integrating the latest technologies with ancient manual procedures, while always respecting tradition. They are artists who transmit their knowledge orally, but nowadays new professionals may be trained in official centres. Year after year, as the festival is revived from the ashes, the essence of this peculiar craftsmanship is reborn like a mayfly, announcing the festival of the Fallas de Valencia to everyone. With the arrival of spring, you can often see the women of the Valencian community using handheld fans. This custom is thought to be of Asian origin, and it must have reached Europe by sea, from China to Portugal. Its swift expansion and acceptance at court in Europe led renowned Italian artists to paint and decorate them. The decoration of a wooden rib fan is one of the last steps in the creative process, but the making of each fan involves craft workers of different types. Craftsmen who saw the ribs and give them shape. Craftsmen who fret, adorn, dress and weave. Craftsmen who paint and decorate. 
craftsmen who varnish or lacquer, and craftsmen who clinch and fasten, leaving this prized artwork ready. The horse is one of the animals with the strongest links to folk festivals. In September, Sigorobe celebrates its entrance of bulls and horses, which was first documented in the 14th century. Riders and animals merge with the spectators in this exciting race. Horses are a key part of many Valencian festivals. In some, strength is important, in horse pulling, for example. In others, skill is required, such as in the entrance of bulls and horses of Sigorbe. But in both cases, the fusion between rider and horse would not be possible without the leather work. Saddles, pack saddles and harnesses are the most common types of leather work for horse riding. The first written reference to the entrance of bulls and horses in Sigorbe dates back to 1386. The leatherwork is both a tradition and an important part of this festival, joining horse and rider together for a perfect ride. The Sexeni is a celebration held in Morella in honour of the Virgin of Bayivana, first being held in gratitude for the ending of a terrible outbreak of plague in 1672. It was then that the townsfolk, organised as they were into guilds, by trade or by social function, decided to celebrate the Sexeni. One of the participating guilds was that of textiles, a trade which continues to this day. For centuries, one of the principal trades in Els Ports has been textile craftsmanship, the main economic activity of the region. The textile tradition of Morella dates back to the 13th century, when many families had their own workshop and passed on the tradition and techniques from parents to children. They sheared sheep, they spun wool with the spindle and the distaff, and they wove fabrics, blankets and sashes, among many other products, in the craft workshops. As production increased, the specialisation of these craftsmen led to the creation of specific guilds for textile production, and ultimately to the establishment of factories. They were great traders and they exported their goods throughout Spain and abroad. Their products stood out for their beauty, colour and quality. Si a Deu vols pregar, posa't en la mar. If you want to pray to God, enter the sea. This popular saying demonstrates the hard life of sailors, alluding to their need for divine protection, as they live under constant threat from the dangers of the sea. During the Semana Santa Marinera, or Maritime Easter Week in Valencia, Representations of this divine help can be seen and thanks are given. Religious images are displayed and carried during a very special Easter week. Makers of religious images are craftsmen specialised in the art of sculpture, artistically representing themes, scenes and religious figures. The most common technique is polychrome wood carving. On occasions, the realism of the carvings is enhanced with clothing and authentic costumes, or artificial hair pieces. Although artistic representations of religious mysteries have been carried out for many centuries, the evolution of wooden sculpture and imagery for the purposes of religious education began with Romanesque and Gothic art. It was in Spain where this type of sculpture was developed most spectacularly, with this spreading across Central and South America. In the Valencian community, there is a significant number of religious image-making craftsmen producing items for the Maritime Easter Week of Valencia, amongst other festivals. The town of Alcoy awakens to the sound of the firing of arquebuses and the smell of gunpowder. Through the thick cloud of smoke, metallic reflections can be glimpsed blinding whoever comes across them. These are the stars of the festival, wearing elegant metal and leather goods, made after many days of work, for public enjoyment. This is the beauty and power of the Moros Cristianos de Alcoy, the Moors and Christians festival, that floods the city every April. The 
The strength and flexibility of tanned animal hide or leather makes it well suited to further manipulation. Historically, the main use of leather has been for clothes and footwear, and it is the first recorded raw material used for clothes. Changes in aesthetic tastes and new trends have made leather a versatile raw material capable of bringing design and fantasy together. These properties, when employed for folk festivals and historical reenactment, have given rise to spectacular designs. The garments used in the celebrations of Moros y Cristianos contain a number of handworked leather items. These items are indispensable to achieve the visual force and impact which the festival requires. In Greek mythology, Hephaestus, the god of fire and metalworking, had his forge on Mount Olympus, where he created magical metal objects. Metal has become more and more malleable by man over the centuries, giving rise to the appearance of trades such as blacksmiths, gunsmiths and engravers. Nowadays, these craft techniques are used in the creation of decorative articles for festivals, as is the case with the Moros y Cristianos festival in Alcoy. This festival inspires the craft workers to create powerful designs as they commemorate the days of the reconquest of Spain. One of the representative characters of this festival is San Giordiet, Saint George, the mighty warrior, slayer of dragons and hero of the reconquest in Valencian lands. The summer is over and the rice harvest marks the end of the agricultural cycle. The fertility of the fields must be renewed for the new period now beginning, and for this reason, Al Jamesi celebrates the festival of Maradeu de la Salud every September. Accompanying the human towers of Les Mocharangues and the unique procession which mixes dance, theatre and liturgy is the music of the Tabal and Dolcaina, the soundtrack of this old tradition. If gunpowder gives the Valencian festivals an explosive soundtrack, the musicians who accompany the festival keep the musical scores of yesteryear alive. Traditional Valencian music performed by bands playing the tabal and the dolcaina, traditional instruments which are unique to the Valencia region. The tabal, a drum, takes its name from the Hispanic Arabic atabal, and so it is believed that the instrument is of Arabic origin. Juan Blasco, in the mid-20th century, introduced the form as we know it today, with the tabal together with the dolcaina. Previously, the dolcaina was accompanied by a smaller drum. The tabal is made of seven layers of maple wood and is manually tensioned using rope tensioners and features a regulatory bridge with a silk base string. On the third Saturday of Lent, the town of Castellón de la Plana begins its Magdalena festival. Magdalena Festa Plena is the cry of all the people of Castellón in their annual festival. Faith and tradition go hand in hand in all its events. And in its parades, the richly dressed women proudly show delicate items produced by goldsmiths and engravers. And at the so-called reed pilgrimage, Everyone must have their own rollo. Bread is such an important part of the human diet that it is synonymous with nourishment in many cultures. It forms part of social and religious life for Jews and Christians. The Spanish say that sorrows with bread are lesser sorrows, reminding us of how sad it is not to have anything to eat. The rollo of Castellón has the same ingredients and is made in the same way as traditional bread flour, yeast, sourdough, water and salt. 
Its size, the circular shape, the marks it has, and the distinctive green ribbon personalize this typical bread of the Magdalena Festival. On the pilgrimage of the reeds, no self-respecting pilgrim can be without this ring-shaped bread, carried in a bundle, on a reed or on a cart. It makes a little easier the journey to the hermitage of La Magdalena, the former site of the town, from the current town of Castellón de la Plana, closer to the sea. In a constant cycle of personal reflection between a lone craftsman and his work, in the piece of the workshop, goldsmiths and engravers use their hands as if they were precision tools, carrying out painstaking work in which every detail counts. Stroke by stroke, piece by piece, they give shape to the creativity of their minds in order to project it onto delicate works of art which are to embellish and accompany their bearers. Engravings are performed on a ductile metal plate which rests on resin or wax, cushioning the strokes of the chisel. The goldsmith combines different techniques which enable the creation of the work in separate parts to be assembled at a later point. Hammering, alloys, beating, cutting and welding are some of the techniques used for the setting of these jewels which are to surround the faces of the women. With the arrival of the summer solstice and the longest day of the year, on the night of San Juan, thousands of purifying bonfires are lit at once to drive away evils, bring luck and give strength to the sun, which from that date onwards will gradually begin to weaken. These are days of festivity and celebration, where the people of Alicante publicly display their best finery in order to celebrate the arrival of summer. Les Pellers, or Damas, the women who are the leading figures of the committees, and the Bellera del Foc, the festival queen, dress up in a black long-sleeved doublet, an imitation of 19th century dress, and a printed skirt made of Valencian fabric with a black apron. The Valencian festivals and the traditional costumes which accompany them enable many cooperatives to enrich the festival with their creations. This craftwork makes use of 200-year-old jacquard looms, in which thousands of silk threads interweave their colours with shuttles which endlessly run from side to side. This tradition both evolves and is renewed thanks to the costume makers. These professionals maintain the correct aesthetics of the festival's costumes. Each year they tailor the costumes which the Galleteras in Castellón, Falleras in Valencia or the Bellers in Alicante will wear with pride. This dress, a replica of an Alicante bridal dress, is finished off with a mantilla and an orange blossom on the head. Their raw materials, handmade, top quality fabrics. Their tools, creativity and their hands, in order to bring to fruition designs which will remain for years in the memory of the spectators. It is not easy to discern whether the craftsmen are behind the festivals or if the festivals are behind the craftsmen. But the most important thing is to see the symbiosis between the two. Both arise from tradition and history, evolving and growing over time and maintaining the ethnological essence whose roots are centuries old. The Centro de Artesanía de la Comunidad Valenciana promotes and consolidates the different craft industries which form part of it. Raising awareness and promoting the union which exists between crafts and festivals.